and with the willing complicity of headline-hungry media, a recent crisis of the month had to do with global warming. An ozone hole is opening up over the United States, we were told, the effects of which were already measurable in an increase in skin cancer. On the contrary, destroying chlorine around the polar vortex has been declining since January. A major objective of a recent shuttle mission was to determine the scope and scale of the so-called ozone hole and the silence since has been deafening from those whose livelihood depends on creating crises. Recent data from the Upper Atmosphere Research Satellites affirms that any problem is less, it's not greater. Ozone levels fluctuate all of the time, partly because of volcanic activity and solar flares. But MIT's technology review has made an exhaustive study of worldwide ocean temperatures since 1851, has concluded that there appears to have been little or no global warming over the past century. In fact, the net rise in world surface temperature during the last century, which was about 1%, almost all occurred before 1940, and that was before aerosols, and that has since been reversed. Former NASA chief Robert Jastrow and former Scripps director William Nirenberg, past president of the American Academy of Sciences, Frederick Seitz, all have concluded in a scathing rebuke of those who make money by predicting global warming, quote, if we allow ourselves to be influenced by press release, we could spend a trillion dollars over the next decade destroying what's left of the American economy in an utterly unnecessary attempt to repeal the Industrial Revolution.